1961, when IIT Madras was formed, they formed several departments, and one of them was Applied Mechanics Department. So it has been uh, there since inception of the institute. The real world problem, end of things, requires you that you have domain knowledge in electrical engineering, mechanics, which is when you are halfway qualified to study a robot, for example, right? So you need this grounding in real world problems before you learn computational engineering. You need these two bodies of knowledge in one individual. Look at the vehicle. For example, if you have an airplane, and if I have a particular system, particular companion that observes what this is going through and trying to understand whether this system is going to sustain the birth of what are called digital twins. I would uh, call it as a, a companion for any one of those systems. 80% of medical devices they call is actually imported. And even that 80%, you see 100% of that 80% are actually core electrical electronic kind of gadgets. The tech products that we talk about. We don't really have an ecosystem in India. Second one is affordability, definitely. So this cost of diagnostics and always uh, also treatment is tremendous. So many of the rural India people are not able to afford. Recently what has happened was that we see that there has been a too much of everyone is interested in either computer science, data science, AI and uh, we are essentially a mechanics uh, heavy department. So we thought it may be a good point where we start an undergraduate program which caters to this. For a long time, we were called Applied Mechanics Department. So now we are called Department of Applied Mechanics and Biomedical Engineering. In short, AMBE. We have 40 faculty members from about 10 different backgrounds. Our department has a history of uh, having separate labs for separate faculty members. And that culture has continued to uh, exist even today. There are faculty members working in modeling real world systems and bringing the real world into silicon. Some of our colleagues have developed uh, successful ultrasound uh, devices. The challenge is to do it in to more expensive modalities. And most research problems these days, as we know, require an interdisciplinary approach uh, and an interdisciplinary solution development process. So that's an open problem waiting to be addressed. Students of IIT Madras are uniquely positioned to lead problems of this grandeur. About 50 billion US dollars, more than that is going to be invested in the coming years. By 2030, the requirement for everything related to biomedical would be enormous and we don't seem to have a homegrown sector which can cater to that. And we would like to leverage this opportunity and uh, that's how we would like to start this. I think it is really a question of time. We cannot wait for any more. And now, in 2025, the Department of Applied Mechanics and Biomedical Engineering is all set to launch two new BTEC courses. One in Computational Engineering and Mechanics, the other in Instrumentation and Biomedical Engineering. Check out apm.iitm.ac.in for more.